Hello, I'm Kent Weins, owner of Weins Lawn Care in Parker, Colorado, here with a tip for your lawn on fertilizing. Now, uh, fertilizing, there's uh, numerous different kinds of fertilizer available. Uh, there's granular fertilizers, there's liquid fertilizers, there's uh, organic, uh, natural fertilizers. Uh, here at Wayne's Lawn Care, we use uh, the liquid and for the first four applications. We use a liquid slow release. Uh, it's called Coron, and the analysis on it, the three numbers are 2800. In other words, it's a, a straight nitrogen fertilizer in a, a slow release uh, formula, and uh, so that it uh, slowly releases the nitrogen. Uh, in the soil and to the to the grass plants, and it's so that it's uh, continuously uh, feeding the the grass. You know, over oh about a month or so, we do one application every five to six weeks. Um, the first four applications, and then the fifth one is a granular uh, slow release uh, sulfur coated urea. Uh, and, and what happens is as it gets enough water moisture, it melts the outer sulfur coating and around the, the white powder, which is the nitrogen inside, and then it releases into the, to the lawn. And uh, so we do uh, that for the uh, fifth uh, application, which is the winterizer application. Uh, there are, uh, and then you have your organic fertilizer, um, which are, are very good here in the Denver metro Colorado area because we have such poor soils, they tend to get some uh, bacterial and microbial activity uh, going in the soil, which uh, really helps the grass, you know, a lot. And uh, so those are the different types of fertilizer. Um, the three numbers are uh, NPK, the first one is nitrogen. Second one is potassium. Third one is phosphorus. And so that's what the, the three numbers are, and that's what percentage of that bag or you know container of fertilizer. The first one is how much of it is nitrogen. And like I say, we use uh, 2800 liquid slow release, which is 28% uh, nitrogen, and, and that's all it is is straight nitrogen because the next two numbers are 0, 0. And then on the, <coughs> the uh, granular we use is a 3257, and so it's 32% nitrogen and 5% uh, potassium and 7% phosphorus. And so those are the different types of fertilizers. And you don't want to over fertilize your lawn. If you do, it'll be growing too fast and producing excessive clippings, which produces excessive thatch, which makes your lawn susceptible to attack from insects and de diseases. And so it's, you know, your lawn needs some fertilizer, but not too much. So it's important to put it down at the right rate and uh, that the manufacturer calls for. And so that's pretty much uh, the, the scoop on fertilizer. And now I want to give you a report that I wrote. It's called 10 Things You Must Know to Avoid Choosing the Wrong Lawn and Tree Service. And first, are they a legal business? Do they have a registered trade name with the state in which you reside? It is law in the state of Colorado. Every business must have a registered trade name with the state. This is public information, and you can go to the state's website and do a search on their DBA or doing business as name and see. If they don't, you probably don't want to do business with them. Next, how long have they been in business? Just because they haven't been in business very long, doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business if they have years of experience working for other reputable companies. Maybe they just recently made the move to start their own business. But if they just started yesterday and don't have previous experience in the industry, you probably want to stay away. 
Next, are they registered with the Better Business Bureau? Just because they're not registered with the BBB doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business. It's very expensive to register with them and maybe they just can't afford it yet. But you can do a search on their business on the BBB website to see if there are any complaints there against them. I always do a check with the BBB when considering using a new business that I'm not familiar with. Next, are they licensed? You must be licensed with the Colorado Department of Agriculture to legally apply pesticides for hire in the state of Colorado. A pesticide is any chemical used to rid you of a pest. In other words, a herbicide is a weed killer, insecticide is an insect killer, fungicide is a disease killer. Next, do they carry insurance? Any business must carry a minimum of $1 million of liability insurance in the state of Colorado. This is in case they do major damage on your property or there is injury or death caused by them. Next, how much experience slash knowledge do they have? Do they know enough about lawn and tree care to accurately diagnose and make recommendations for the problems with your lawn and trees? You don't want to be paying them all kinds of money to, to do the applications and your lawn just continues to look worse and worse because they're not addressing the problems on your property. All they know how to do is the applications and that's it. Next, do they guarantee their work? Some things you can't guarantee such as seeding because good results depend on the client doing their part by following watering instructions and we have no control over that. But we can guarantee that the job will be done right the first time and to your satisfaction. Next, why are their prices so much lower on some services such as aeration? Well, first you must be sure you are comparing apples to apples. Do they carry liability insurance? If they do damage on your property, will they fix it or replace it at no cost to you? If you pay $25 for your aeration, and they do $250 of damage to your sprinkler system and won't fix it or replace it, you haven't saved much, have you? And if necessary, get it in writing before they do the job. Next, do they keep their word? When they say they will be there on a certain day, do they show up? If not, do they give you a call to explain why not? Do they say they will do something and then when it comes down to it, they won't? Do they quote one price, then bill you for more? How is their integrity? Are they a man of their word? Do they return your calls? How soon? And last, do they use safe products? Are they concerned about the health and safety of you, your children, your pets, the environment, the public, your property, do they list on the invoice they leave with you, products used, any precautions, special instructions, EPA registration numbers in case of emergency, their contact information, your contact information? They should because it's the law. Thank you.